Hey all, this is Draco Dark Rider with Melvin and the Jade. Yes, uh, today the is the, the one of the only times, the well actually we'll probably be doing it more from now on, but this is going to be a face cam thing because I'm starting again my season of Metal Gear Solid 3. Dun dun dun. Yeah, I apologize for talking a lot but it's just been a pain in the ass. Now, being known, this is not a, this is not a walkthrough so it's not like new game, walkthrough, all that. This is just a playthrough, just because I quite enjoy all the Metal Gear Solid games, and I just want to have a little fun. Alright, so now we've got the beginning bit. Um, I might skip a few of these movie scenes, I do apologise for that. It is a good game, however, so if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid, go out and play it, because the cutscene that you see in this, oh, they're actually quite good, because the storyline behind this game is actually quite impressive. Approaching so uh, I'm just I do apologize, but I am gonna skip this Jack, I've got some important news. Uh, and this one I just really just want to get into the game because I want to do the prologue first. So going on that on um, the gigantic jump. The planet to be oh, legal faith. Yeah, I got a parachute. Did you oh they got a parachute? <laughs> No, I got. I'm doing a halo jump, so for most of it, I ended up not having a parachute. But when I got close enough to the ground, I had to use one. Otherwise, I would have gone splat. The good thing about this game is it's not like a superhuman thing. It's actually more like a impressive life. Oh, there we go. All right, now let's actually start. Starting the game. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I golf simulator. No, this is not a This is not a simulator. Simulators these days are not good. Yeah, I do agree with that. Right, so Look at Goat Simulator. <laughs> that was. Awesome. Need I say more? That, that wasn't bad actually. I kind of enjoyed watching that. All right. Okay, here's my backpack. Sure, it had its problems, but. Geez. That's true. Also, one thing I'm going to try to be doing with this season is I have all I the Metal Gear Solid trophies packs, but one. I'm going to try to get that last one. To a and I'm also going to show you some little funny easter eggs in this game back. that if you don't know in about, the survival just viewer, just choose have you weapon laugh. from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window. Oh, uh, the there's quite a few. Um, that list, choose the weapon. I'm going to tr probably do like one or two this episode. Okay. Uh, once these. I do apologize again. I do apologize for fast forwarding some of these talking. Just, I just really like to get into the gameplay. Sneak. Uh, it's like, if if wanted, I can make a separate video with nothing but cutscenes. But yeah. Oh, and don't don't forget to say one thing, Drago. What's that? Let people know if they want more uh, face cam. Yeah, if you want more of us like actually putting on face cam, just let us know because that way we can act. That way, if we know people want it, we'll actually put on more. So yeah, I've got a lot of them, but I'm going for my favorite. Which is? The Infinity Face Paint. With this, every weapon you have automatically goes to infinite. It's quite useful. Now, before I put on the right armor, I'm going to do this. Give myself no shirt. Oh, no, I can't do it yet. I have to wait till the second part when Sigurd comes in. Okay. Yeah, so never mind. Oh, we'll go with Spirit. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, this uh, camouflage comes when you defeat the Sorrow. Like, when you actually play through his thing. I'm act There's actually a little sneaky thing with that, I'll tell you about that during when I get to it. And I'll also be showing you how to kill a boss early in the game. Alright, so we want this, and we're gonna... We're gonna keep the cigar just for, like, because, well, the original actually loved cigars. So, we'll just take off this one. That's the only one that's really useless. What was it? Uh, a piece... Uh, I forget its name. <laughs> it, pr it pretty much just pulses when anti personnel sends so. okay. it does not It's not like a radar, but when you actually have it equipped, it will pulse when an enemy is close by. So it makes the uh, controller vibrate? I, I'm pretty sure. I've actually never, I haven't used it in a while. So, Andrew, how many times have you played Metal Gear Solid? Uh, depends on the game. Um, I've played Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, three and 
I haven't played 4 yet, I've been wanting to play 4, and I've played Revengeance, and I've played Ground Zeroes, I didn't like Ground Zeroes. Yeah, I heard some oh. bad reviews on that. Oops, I forgot one thing. Oh, what'd you forget? Patriot. Oh, My yeah. favorite gun. Isn't that the gun with all the bullets? Yeah, but I'm not going to use it yet. Uh, right now I'm just going to put this guy to sleep, just so that when I crawl over there, he's not going to hit me. Oh, is that a crocodile? Uh, yeah. Now, just to get over the quicksand. If you roll first, you can get farther without sinking, and that way you can easily make it to this island. Now, if I, if I were to walk onto that croc, yeah, he'd wake up. Alright, so we're just going to pile through. So, you were going to say, see you later, alligator? Yes. Like, normally I would just kill them for food, just at the moment, you don't really need much food for the prologue, because the prologue's actually quite short. Now, I also have the easy gun with this, however, I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'm just going to, like, you'll, you'll have to see it equipped for parts Mate? of the game, but I won't be using it at all. I've actually grown quite adapt with the other ones. Okay. Alright, and now for my favorite thing to do. Go all predator. <laughs> So then, all the uh, shooter and it can bleed, is it? <laughs> Pretty much. If it bleeds, we can kill it or something like that? Yes, but you can't kill me. I'm Big Boss. Well, not yet, actually. I don't become Big Boss until the end of the game. So practically you're saying, we can't kill you because you're in the sequel. Sort of. Pre-sequel-ish. Uh, why is that complicated? <laughs> uh, yeah, one thing you might want to real, one thing that might want to be said is that the Metal Gear Solid Saga is the, it doesn't go in game order, so that's something to keep in mind. And again, I also do apologize if I'm talking too much. Huh? Okay, sometimes the game is better with talking, sometimes it's not. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, I'm just gonna. What'd you hit him with? Beehive. I shot the... Uh, I, well, actually, I don't know if it's a beehive or a wasp nest. I've actually had a red in a while. But yeah, you shoot that and he automatically gone. Okay. I also might want to add, there's a camouflage you get if you can defeat the pain without killing him. Like, if you kill him via, like, tranquilizers. If you do that, you'll actually be able to get a chance to get his armor, which is the Hornet Strike armor. Oh. Hornet, Hornet Strike Camo. What does it do? Quite a few things. It's going to help in the main mission. It pretty much repels leeches, wasps, and a few other things. Plus, if you are if you shoot a beehive or a wa like wasp nest while under it, if you're wearing the army, you can actually control the wasps. Yeah, you can control the wasps. Wow, that sounds really cool. Are you going to show, th show us that you're in one episode? Maybe. I've never actually done it before. I just... I've I just have heard you can do it. Okay. I know about the leech part though because it actually says in the description. Like each armor has a description. I like how you turned and then fell down. Yeah, they do that. See if I can get this one I missed. Well, it's not like they're gonna find you, you're going all predator and visible and everything. Or is it that they can still see you when you're invisible or something? Nah, they can only see me if it's an alert phase. Ah. There we go. That was a rookie mistake that I haven't done before, so that I have to give, I have to slap myself for. That was an idiotic mistake. Alright, what minutes are we up to? We're up to... Oh, shit, we're only up to nine minutes. Well... Yeah, this is one of the main guys of this movie. Yeah, he's pretty much the simple. guy that the people are reminding are of after. One of Vulcan's men. So, yeah. you never I wanted to 
do want to skip this because I want to get into gameplay. The only problem is, with it being only nine minutes, I think the prologue would be quite short. Back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Well, not all games have to be long. I guess, yeah. like, I, as I do say, it's like, if you want to watch the prologue, be a good thing to actually go back and play this game, because this game actually has a quite an excellent movie. Uh, I do actually have to also say one thing that no one realizes that this entire game, they're all speaking Russian. They may speak in whatever language you put it to, or whatever language your game is, but the everyone in this game is actually just speaking Russian. How did you find that out? He actually says it in um, one of the these like cutscenes. This guy talks. I'm um, talking to Snake. Says, "Where did he learn Russian? It, it's superb. It pretty much just drops the whole hint that they're all speaking Russian." Get me out of here before then. I think I'll think think I'll leave the movie scene on, like the cutscene. By the way, your Russian is superb. Yeah, it's like I keep cu I keep calling it a movie scene, but it's called a cutscene. I just call it a movie scene because it has the same animation as like some of the older animations, kind of like Final Fantasy. Yeah, but it could also be called a uh, cinematic a scene. Country. True. So, yeah, I just got used to calling it a movie exactly scene. I don't know why. No. I have no love. I, I like the things people That's aren't listening to this because we're probably pretty much just talking over them, aren't we? Mm, I do apologize. But I, it's a lot better because I've watched this guy called, uh, what's his name? No, um, DSP. Major, I think he's this called. Is Snake. He so is the most. Me. He's doing fine. No injuries. He's like the Good legendary work, Metal Gear Solid up and get master. Soko up to the recovery like point. We'll Actually, the extreme opposite. Roger. Yeah. What about the sentries? He makes. No one spotted me. He makes Melvin look like he can finish boss? every Assassin's Creed game and every Metal Gear Solid game in what an happened? hour. It's oh, probably yeah, just a weak signal. Just hurry and get so Let me put it this way. Do you remember when, how painful it was when to, for you to watch me to play Assassin's Creed? Yes. Amplify that by 100. That's pretty bad. So we couldn't get past the problem? No, no, he went through the game. He just made the world most idiotic mistakes. He did everything wrong. Mel Milk is sold one. Guess what he did? What? He's missing a girl called Sniper Wolf. <laughs> What does he pull out? He pulls out a machine gun. <laughs> and by the way, he can't get near her, so um <laughs> He plays this game. You know what he does? He does what he's doing, turning and doing weird moves to all. He probably does, but um <laughs> in real life. He's yeah, he probably does. Um for every for this game and Mel Gear Solid 2? He kept getting rations. Every five seconds he's like, I don't know how to use rations. How do you use rations? And that's pretty much he's pushing every button except L2. Freeze! It's like it's in L2 and it's just like if you held it and you go to it, it would actually say it's just like nope. Well, I'm pretty sure his game ended pretty soon when he died of hunger. Oh. He he's playing against the boss, the final boss of this game, guess what? He fights her using a sniper rifle. What? What the fuck does that? I mean, she's gonna run up to you and take you down before you can even aim. There he is. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. One of the best characters in this What's game. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? Um, other episodes of this will actually be more entertaining. I do apologize if I'm not, if I'm also not only not entertaining in this one, but it's, I've talked too much. It's just that you've talked a bit too much. He's the ocelot awesome commander. <laughs> That's what, is, what does it stand awesome for anyway? DSP. I don't know. Don't I know the last part is Phil, but I don't know the other two. But the funniest thing I've heard him say was that in one game he said he respects Kojima. However, in a pr oh, someone edited that because they showed like seven million scenes from another video he made where he's pretty much insulted Kojima in seven million different ways, insert swearing at him, insulting him. 
And that was before he said he respected him. He's a soldier and he's not Not all soldiers have the balls to face. They some soldiers can if yeah. they're the only ones there and they don't know what to do. Yeah, I know, but it's like He was looking right at Ocelot. Because they Ocelot had already shot his other teammates, he could have aimed and actually fired at Ocelot. Uh, then that would have caused other problems. Yeah, the time I can't say it feels good to kill I still a can't believe there's an achievement for that. Room. Yeah, I love it. There's so many achievements in this so that I quite laugh at. Take cover. Especially the one you didn't tell me when I first played it, then you told me to kill him. Then how can we stop it? I think. Hmm. Best achievement ever. Before you can actually kill him. Not the boss, now are you? for his signature oh, call. God. What? <laughs> I just got that video stuck in my head. Ah! Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, kind of right in um, snake or something. That was hard as hell. Crew of Bridges! I don't understand why they're just wearing masks. What is that stance? I haven't looked that up yet, actually. <laughs> That gun. Uh, are they scared of what we're gonna think if they <laughs> take the battle? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, it's been like that for pretty much every Metal Gear Solid game. The boss, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Solid One and Two did the same thing, where the grunts and all that they usually die. just had their faces fully covered except for their eyes. <laughs> that was the technique. <laughs> I know how I got Leave that. Leave it! Shoot the other Still one! Down. Oh. Even oh. 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 He's a drunk, but he's just about to go to sleep. As you can see from the dart in his arm. Yeah. And that bullet plays a crucial role later on. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. Yeah, only one person You're pretty that good. He could actually beat him in a fair fight would be boss. The boss. Pretty good. Or solid snake. Yeah, but at the moment he doesn't exist. <sighs> I'm at 19 minutes, alright. So I should probably start wrapping this up. Major. Because I want to leave a, 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 a video under. Snake, like, you alright? Under. I've run into a few snags. Yes, yeah, so I'll. For the viewers. Time paradox. <laughs> <laughs> Time paradox. Do it. Time paradox. Time paradox. Time paradox. Do it. Do it. No. Do it. No, peer yeah, pressure. Everyone who got knocked out there, you could kill.
Yeah, but if you kill Ocelot, you'll get an achievement called Time Paradox, but you're gonna have to... Restart that entire thing. Yeah, because killing him is a bad thing since he's in... A major the... part in every single game. Yeah, yes, he, he, ex actually, except for one game, he is in every game. Yeah, but oh, then you'll be solving so many problems. Oh, right. Yeah, he's not in Revengeance just because, well, Snake's not in Revengeance. You would solve so many problems okay. if you did. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. yeah and create more, meaning doing it again. Yes. Worth it. Alright. Yeah. In this you would have seen all the bosses that you'd have to fight, just I... We want to keep them as a surprise. Yes. I want to keep... Because they're all freaky as bloody hell except for one. <laughs> yeah, they're all awesome. Out of every single one of them, that was whatever I wouldn't want to face any in your life. Not even the boss. So, let's go to Cure. Right, we'll fix the broken bones first, so... so how are you going to fix broken bones? Oh, splint oh, and oh, bandage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's this one, so another splint and bandage. Wait, this is okay. the bit after you do this where you get this again and you place it on, I like how you solved your broken bones by bandages and pieces of wood. Yes, that's how you do everything. Yeah, and yeah, with, with broken so with the army with broken bones, most of the time they would just uh, put a splint on it until they could actually get to proper medical attention. Yeah, good point. Like they'd put wood on its like wood Even on their arm. Hearing that still made me feel weird deep inside. Yeah, that looked painful. Yeah, yeah and, it was and in the painful. And the, because you can actually hit a crack and all that, but it's like, with the Metal Gear Solid, is, it's, with this technique, it's actually a real life thing where they, just to keep, to make sure their arm doesn't stay broken, where it can warp into that, they put it back to where it was and then splint it so it stays. Okay. Until they can get to pop medical attention. But then that arm would be almost completely useless. Uh, only if it's like, Long ways away before medical attention. Like, um, he's gonna be picked up soon. Yeah. Because he right, I am gonna show one little thing in this particular. Uh, the body. Yes. There is the body of the sorrow. He is the boss that you'll see later on. Okay. Yeah, I found that out, um, later on in the game. They're one of your, they're one of the guys on the raid, on the codec that helps you. Uh, okay, well. Crap, I said it before. <laughs> oh, um, Sigurd. Sigurd tells you that around this area, the boss killed the Tsar. Which is a sad love story. Yeah, so, now that I've done the prologue, I do apologize for skipping so many movie scenes and talking over a few of them, but... I will try to remedy that during my next vids. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. We are always happy to hear comments. I'm hoping there's both good and bad ones. Like, more good I'd prefer, but I can't control it. Anyway, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching our vids, and we shall see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.